Hi folks, just got back from four days in Las Vegas for Autodesk University and I wanted to share some quick highlights. I had no idea what I was getting into and it was really an eye-opening eye -opening week. Uh, I took a lot of great classes and to say I learned a lot, a complete understatement, it was, it was incredible. First, first off, uh, Autodesk is a huge company. I, I don't think I appreciated that they have, I mean, there were something like 10,000 people there, 700 classes, you know, everything from civil engineering and road design to hospitals and HVAC systems and uh, obviously a lot of stuff that I don't really care about and I'm guessing that you guys are less interested in as well. And honestly, the CAD and CAM and you know, machining side was a tiny part uh, of Autodesk overall as a company. And at first I was kind of worried because I thought, man, you know, I don't, I don't, I just don't, this isn't me, this isn't necessarily what I care about, but it actually uh, still proved to be phenomenal because the big takeaways were I learned a ton about Fusion 360. And I'm excited about that because I, th I learned why Fusion 360 is designed the way it's designed. Uh, and I learned a bunch of technical stuff and a bunch of tips and tricks, and we're gonna stay tuned folks, some great videos coming, but it really made me think I have to stop just thinking, okay, how would I do this in SolidWorks? How do you do that in Fusion 360? And trying to directly correlate them any longer because now that I've seen some more advanced users and some just proficient folks, you know, really take advantage of Fusion 360, like these classes, it's starting to click and folks, it's amazing. And it's exciting because my whole pitch, the whole reason I switched to Fusion 360 was because I feel like it's a way for me to keep working in our shop and for you guys to be able to follow along with the software that you can afford to use both CAD and CAM. Now I'm starting to realize this is a game changer above and beyond the convenience factor of, of the affordable price. To that point, we're now comfortable enough in Fusion 360 where we're gonna take it to the next level in our shop and I am doing a 30-day test run with no SolidWorks. You know why? Because we can do it and I'm convinced that that's what it'll take to get us over the hurdle. I go into SolidWorks now because it's still a little bit more comfortable, comfortable to me. It's my sort of first language and I'm faster. And yes, there are some things it does better. There are some keyboard shortcuts that I'm really harping on the Fusion team uh, to get implemented because for me, it's about speed. There's some, there, uh, look, there are a, 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 frankly a lot of things I don't like, but there are more that I do like. And my other takeaway from this week was I got to meet I think just about everyone on the Fusion team, holy cow, great group of folks. It's a huge team. There are huge amounts of resources getting behind it. And one of the really cool things I'll share is there was a Fusion 360 meetup. And again, Autodesk, multi-billion dollar company, uh, 10,000 people at this conference. They have 7,500 employees all around the world. Their CEO, Carl Bass, came to the Fusion 360 open house. Pretty cool, it's a relatively small event in the grand scheme of the thing. And then one of the guys on the team said, hey, you wanna meet him? And I said, absolutely. And I walked up to him and the fellow I was with introduced me and Carl says, wow, I love your videos. And I, I just got a little weak in the knees because that's, you can't make that up. And I just thought, wow, this is really cool. Anyway. The way I want to do this going forward, for, at least for a test run, is we're going to start a new video mm -hmm. series. So the Wednesday widget will stay. We're going to do Fusion Friday. And that way, folks that don't care about the hardcore CAD and CAM, skip it. But I think there are a lot of folks that are going to enjoy this. And it's not just going to be strictly machined parts. A lot of what we learn and takeaways from, from the um, from AU were also about how we can th start thinking about product design and, and, and iterations. It's stuff that I'm actually really interested in and not, not frankly that good at. So you're gonna kind of watch me struggle through some of it, but I'm really excited. Thanks again to everyone that helped uh, make AU awesome. And I really enjoyed meeting everyone from the team, both on the Fusion 360 time, 360 team and the CAM team. Uh, Tormach was there, they had a 440. It was making chips, it's awesome. I'm really excited to show that more on, on video. I guess my excuse is we've been busy, but more to come. There's some great things in Fusion 360 coming, better lathe. We literally have a fourth axis post right now that I'm gonna test when I finish recording. It's not simultaneous, it's indexing for three plus one, but that's a big step. The simultaneous fourth, they're working on it. It's not gonna come out you know, in a matter of weeks, but it's going to come out and I think when they bring it out, it's gonna be 
very well done and that's exciting. Some other game changing stuff that we learn, again, that we'll have in videos coming in the next week or two on tips and tricks, on templates, just so much good stuff that I'm really, frankly, really over the top excited for. And a couple quick things we've had, some folks already emailed us about our open house in 2016. Yes, we're setting the date of Saturday, April 30th. So if you'd like to come to see our new 10,000 square foot facility, we are going to be in there. Uh, we'd love to have folks come to Central Ohio for that event. A bunch of sponsors uh, and, and folks coming. It's going to be great. And otherwise, right now, we have tried to clean up the shop a little, and I have got set up for the first uh, tr first beta class. It'll actually be six, so we got to get two more computers in here. We've got the 440 over there, and we've got the 1100 over there. We've actually got more machines coming, but the first class is just going to be the two machines and the projector up on the wall there. So. I am super excited. I think it solves a big need for us, which is we've had so many folks that want to come to see hands-on training, to learn, to, uh, to play with Tormox, or it's not, it's not a Tormox class, it's a machining class um, using, happens to be Tormox machines. But I'm really excited to go through our first class. And uh, for those of you that are interested, please feel free to check out uh, more. Otherwise, folks, uh, take care. And I'm going to get some Fusion videos uploaded here in the next few days.